here we go. Everybody, this is your professor, Danny Gottlieb. I'm here with my good buddy, Larry McCrae. And in the course, uh, we actually talk about and study a little bit about Ornette Coleman, the adventurous, innovative saxophone player. And Larry played in Ornette's band for 10 years. And I was wondering, Larry, if you could just say a couple of words about your experience with Ornette Coleman for the class. Okay, well, let me say hello first. Uh, my experience with Ornette started very, very young at about 17. A couple of guys that I grew up with ended up playing with Ornette and when he needed a sub one day for one of his bass players they asked me to come in. So that started about a 10 to 15 year relationship. I got to tour the world with Ornette, um, went to Japan with him around the United States and the interesting thing about it is this. In order to play with Ornette you had to be technically sound. A lot of people approach it and think um, there's no understanding to it, but he knew how to explain it. Uh, it was some of the hardest playing I ever did in my life. I enjoyed it because he was a bridge from the old school beboppers to the new age musicians. And when you sat and talked with him and he told you about all the people he used to hang with, like Train, Parker, and those guys, and to be able to have him just express some of the things that John Coltrane said to him, like John Coltrane told Lornette, he was the only one that really made him stretch. Uh, I left rehearsal one day um, in pain because I had busted my fingers wide open only to know that I had to be back at rehearsal the next day. And I have some charts still that Ornette hand wrote and gave to me. If I gave them to you, you wouldn't understand them because it was not traditional notation as we know it. It was written like traditional notation, but the way he explained it, it was totally different. He explained the difference to me between music and arrangements, and I can share that story with you privately. It's not something that I want recorded, and I just, over the course of the time that I was with him, just enjoyed everybody that played with him because all of the musicians could have their own solo careers in their own right. They were just beasts on their instruments. I, and the band that I was in had two bass players, two drummers, and two guitar players in Ornette, and a singer by the name of Mari Okuba. And my buddy that I grew up with, he goes by the name of Jamal Ladine Takumba. He's the one that actually pulled, actually pulled me in and it was just a pleasure to be around those guys. It was family, some of the biggest sounds I ever heard of, an alto saxophone, some of the most innovative ideas to translate from alto to bass, and it stretched me every time I was around him. I was looking forward to seeing him, and I got an email, was it a text? No, I got a text from Jamal Ladine that Ornette had died and it hurt me because I was really looking forward to seeing and playing with him again. So that's what I can share with you now. I hope it helps you. One thing he emphasized, you had to know your scales and you had to know the relative chords to those scales. If you didn't know that, you could not play with Ornette Coleman. So take that and whenever you hear Ornette and you think it's a bunch of nonsense, Try listening to the musicians playing with them and listen to the stuff that they're playing. It's very melodic and it's very structured. Okay, I hope that helped. And I thank Danny, he's a, probably one of the best drummers you'll ever want to be around. Thank you, Larry. Thanks for sharing your experiences with the class. So appreciated. My All pleasure. The best. <laughs>